Good morning. I hope you can hear me. This is Colored Roses and Thorns. Welcome to my sofa. Um, you know, when I start the talk, I don't use any prompts or any notes. So give me a moment to meditate, to connect to the most high. First of all, I would like to say I'm sending out positive vibes for everyone. And I thank you for being here with Colored Roses and Thorns here with Tammy G. I'm sorry, Tammy G. Chen. What I want to talk about today is coming as you are. I have visited many mosques. I have visited many churches. And of all of the holy books, it says pretty much come as you are. But in each of the holy books, it does tell you certain attire that you should wear to church. It doesn't tell you how expensive or how less expensive that attire should be. And you all know, I guess you all know by now that I am an ordained minister and high priestess, but I'm not your quote-unquote, regular, ordinary minister who hangs out in a church. And I'd much rather be in nature. I'd much rather sit down and talk to a person that is homeless. I minister that way. I'd much rather go among addicts and alcoholics and minister to them that way. And I connect closely and I connect wholeheartedly with the Most High. When I'm sitting in nature, I'm sitting alone. But what I want to tell you is that there are no roadblocks, there are no stop signs, there are no borders telling you or instructing you on how to go to the Most High. And some of the things are said that it says that the Most High is a jealous God and have no other gods before me. And if I can remember correctly, it says uh, Jesus, which the Christians follow, says, pray to my Father who is in heaven. He never said, pray to me. He never said to worship me. But he said, pray to my Father that is in heaven. And I think that we have a direct connection and phone line to the Most High. I don't care what religion you follow. I don't care if it's not a religion, but just the way of life as the Muslims live. We all have a direct connection with the Most High. Some of you call him the Most High God. Some of you call him Allah. Some of you call him the source, whatever he or she is to you, your most high. You have a direct connection. And the thing is, you can come to your higher source just as you are. 
it doesn't matter if you're dressed in rags or if you're dressed in Gucci. The only thing that the Most High is interested in is your soul. Who you are underneath your skin. Who you are underneath your clothing. The very core of you. That is what the Most High is after. And some say the Most High is after your heart. He is after your soul. Not saying that he, because the Most High is a spirit. Even the name itself, Christ, actually means light. The sun in the sky, light. So whatever you do, you have a direct path to the Most High. Mm -hmm. He knows everything that goes on. He, she, I'm going to use he as the collective may say that I could use that in the way because you are human and that's the way we speak. But you can go to the most high as you are. And some of them say, sinners come unto me as you are. Because some people, when they come to Christ, or they come to the Most High, or they come to Allah, they're coming from some life's experiences. Now, there are some that walk in the light all the time. But we also know that there are many on earth that come from the dark. And that light is open for everyone. Just like the sun shines on the good, it shines on the bad as well. So if you're in that negative side, you're always free to come to the light. No one is perfect that's walking here on earth right now. But what we strive for every day is to become better, a better version of ourselves. None of us knows what goes on behind closed doors with our neighbors. No gossiper knows what goes on behind closed doors in another person's life. So mind your business. Many people are behind their doors and they suffer in silence. Many people that you look at, you may not know that they have had a long, hard journey because they don't look like what they've been through. I think the most high every single day. Many of you do not know that at one time in my life, yes, I've had good and I've had the bad. And many of you do not know that I was abused to a certain extent as a child. You do not know that I've been kidnapped and raped. A lot of things you don't know because I don't tell you and really I don't feel as though I should unless I'm using it as a testimony. So you don't know what paths that people have to walk to get to where they are. And many of you or many of us sit back and prejudge people by what we see on the surface.
And you think because they look good now, or they have on nice clothes now, or they're living in a better place now, you don't know that that person had to be homeless for a while. You don't know that that person was jobless for a while and had to find a job. You don't know that. You don't know um, that that person used to be a drug addict, but now they're clean and now they're living a whole different life. You don't know the journey that people have had to come through. You don't know what drove that person into addiction. You don't know their story unless they tell you. Like sitting here, I do not know your story. So I will not prejudge you. I will not call you out of your name because none of us is better than the other. The rain falls on all of us and the sun shines on all of us. We all have our mountains to climb and we have all fallen down in a valley and had to climb our way out before. Life is not easy. It's a journey. It is a journey that each of us must travel. This is our existence. This is because you think that somebody else is having it easy. Like I said, you do not know what goes on behind closed doors and you do not know what it took for them to get to where they are. So, it's best sometimes to focus on yourself and what you're doing and dig out your talents that the Most High has given you. Use your talents to the best of your abilities to serve the Most High, to serve your community and humankind. If it's not the community, minister to a child who is being abused. Minister to that broken person that you had preconceived notions about. Pray for your fellow man. We have seemingly lost empathy in this world today where we won't stop to see how others are doing. We're so wound up in self. And it's sometimes good to be in self because you have to go within before you can come without. And you cannot love anybody else until you love yourself and have a strong connection with the higher power. So come as you are, not as what you think you should be. No, I'm going to wait. You know what? I'm going to wait till I'm able to afford a Gucci purse. I'm going to wait till um, I can get fine clothes. I got to put on this, that, and the other to reach up to the most high. No, the most high. says. Come as you are. The only thing I remember out of all of the holy books is that when you go inside of a temple, is that women are to have their heads covered in prayer before you pray. pray. Now in the mosque, the women sit on one side and the men sit on the other, or the Muslims on one side and the Muslim men on the other. They're separated. And I know in the um, Catholic and in the Methodist church, when they are praying or doing communion, the woman's head is covered. 
Now, I've visited many, many establishments just to see how they function. And each one follows the rules of how it should go for that particular religion. But God did not create religion. No, man did. Remember that. Religion is man-made. You can pray from your floor. You can pray from your bed. You can speak anytime you want to speak to the Most High. You can have three or four people in your home. But you can be a minister just by giving someone who's hungry food. That can be your offering. That was in the Old Testament about tithing. No, you can take money in your hand. You can take food. That can be your offering. That can be your gift. That is, that is your tithe. A portion of what you have in your home. Giving it to someone in need. That is what it's all about. It's not always about the physical, mucho dinero. Yes, a lot of churches and places now are running their churches and their establishments like businesses. That is not the way it was supposed to ever be. Of course, there are certain rules there. But like I said, that's part of religion. Uh-uh. I have no part in religion. I have a direct <laughs> connection to my higher source. When I have something and I'm moved to give it, I give. If I have extra food and I know somebody's out there hungry, give it to them. Now, I'm not saying being a doormat and to be used by people but see that is not where your blessings come from the blessings come from you giving from your heart now i'm not gonna tell anybody ever to give their last time if you're not eating if you don't have at least a t-shirt to put on your back i'm not telling you to go out there and give your last cent go buy you a jacket Go buy you some food. Mm -mm. You would never ask a person who's already in a shaky state to give their last dime. You give from your heart. You give what you can and when you can. Because the Most High wants us to be comfortable too. He does not want us to starve. He does not want us um, suffering in any way. So for a higher a person that you see as being a leader or a higher person of an establishment should not ask you to give your last. Mm-mm. Because just like they're taking that money from you and then they're supposedly giving it to um, those in need. But some of them keep it from themselves, for themselves. Now, that's a fact. You too can go out there and give what you want to who needs it. You can visit the sick. You can cook a person a meal. You can sit down and just talk to them. Some people just want you to talk to them. Companionship, show empathy, show that you care, show that you love. All things are not material. Spiritual things. Kindness. Those are the things that will last forever because material things break down. They corrode, they rot. 
but love is something that lasts on and on and on. Infinity. I don't even know where I'm going with this because, like I said, I don't write things down and whatever pours in me from the most high, that is what I say. So I'm going to cut this short, <clears throat> cut this nail, positive vibes to you, higher frequencies to you, love to you, and be blessed. I'll see.